Hi, my name is Pete Wright and I'd like to talk to you about this book called Teaching Mathematics for Social Justice. If you're interested and you believe in teaching maths through open-ended, collaborative, discursive approaches and you want to make a difference to children's lives, then you might be interested in this book. There's two premises behind the book. The first one is that providing students with meaningful context um, for applying mathematical concepts in real life can enhance their mathematical understanding. And the second idea that, that is that there are some social justice issues which you just can't understand unless you have a, a good mathematical understanding. So I've just um, talked to you about one of my favourite activities, which is called counting the votes. And this activity starts with a group of uh, three very democratically minded friends who want to go and see a film. There are five films at the cinema, though, and they can't decide which ones they, they're going to go and see. So they decide to have a vote where they all express their preferences for the five films. The, the activity encourages students to discuss which would be the fairest film to go and see. And it usually leads to lots of discussions around should you give more weighting to a first preference or to avoiding a fifth preference film? Um, or should you try and come to some sort of consensus? And it leads on nicely to um, introducing the idea of border points, which is something that was introduced by a mathematician called Border, who was also a political scientist, who came up with the idea of using mathematical sequences, arithmetical sequences, geometric sequences, to try and um, determine the outcome of an election. So the, the link there between um, mathematics and, and so a social justice issue is really clear. So there are um, seven other projects in the book. Um, each one has uh, several activities and they cover a wide range of things like measuring inequality, um, economists, econom economists and statisticians use things like Lorenz curves and the Gini coefficient to, to do that and it, it deals with those issues and things like fair trade and so on. Um, there are also some really short accessible research articles that you'll find in between the projects. So I would really recommend having a look at this book. It will make you think differently about mathematics and it will make you appreciate just how strong a link there is between learning mathematics and, and learning social justice issues. Thank you.